tumor infiltrating, lymphocytes act as prognostic biomarkers in advanced breast cancer. Tumor infiltrating lymphocytes are believed to reflect the immunogenicity of breast cancer, with evidence suggesting the clinical validity and potential utility of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes as a biomarker. Research has established that tumor infiltrating lymphocytes have strong prognostic value, particularly in triple negative and human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2 positive breast cancer. Most of the existing information is focused on early breast cancer. Only limited data is available to understand the prognostic role of tumor infiltrating lymphocyte in advanced disease settings. The aim of the study was to determine till levels, immune infiltrate composition, and programmed death ligand 1, PDL1, expression in metastatic lesions, and to correlate these factors with disease prognosis in patients with triple negative and human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 plus advanced breast cancer. Patients diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, either human epidermal growth factor, receptor 2 positive, or triple negative type were included in the study. Patients with ipsilateral in breast. Recurrences were excluded from the study, due to the difficulty experienced in discriminating between a recurrence and a new primary lesion. A total of 94 patients were recruited in the study, of which 43 were triple negative, and 51 were human epidermal growth factor receptor 2. The patients were examined for tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, and Expression of CD8, FOXP3, and PDL1 by immunohistochemistry. The distribution of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes were higher in lung metastases and lower in skin metastases as compared to other sites, with no statistical significance. The overall tumor infiltrating Lymphocytes levels were higher in lung metastases and lower in skin metastases as compared to other sites, but there was no statistical significance noted. The median overall survival was 11.8 and 62.9 months for triple negative patients with low and high tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, respectively. In contrast, in human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 plus breast cancer, low tumor infiltrating lymphocytes tumors showed better prognosis with median OS 53.7 and 39.9 months in tumor infiltrating lymphocytes low and tumor infiltrating lymphocytes high, respectively. Thus, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes can act as prognostic biomarkers for triple negative breast cancer in advanced settings, and can provide an insight into the immune heterogeneity of different metastatic sites.